Hi everyone, my name is Shan. I'm from George Brown College. Uh, in this video, you will learn how to use the shake skill when you are making a cocktail. So what is shake? The shake procedure is done to mix ingredients when the ingredients do not actually mix very well and it also chills the drink. So today I'm going to make a cocktail named Daiquiri to show how to shake correctly. Step 1 is measure the ingredients into the Boston glass. So in this cocktail, we need 1 and a quarter ounces wet rum and 2 ounces lime juice. When you are marrying the ingredients, please make sure the amount of each ingredient is following the recipe. Step 2 is fill Boston with fresh, solid ice cubes. Please notice shaking with crushed ice will produce dramatically higher levels of dilution than shaking with cubed ice, and the amount of that dilution is hard to predict due to the crushed ice having such a large surface area and the accelerated melt speed. Step 3 is shake vigorously for 12 to 20 seconds. Put on the metal top at a slight angle. Hold the shaker set by the top and the bottom firmly, but refrain from squeezing the two pieces together tightly. Bring the set over your shoulder, holding it vertically, and shake up and down vigorously. Step 4 is open shaker and place the hot thorn strainer on the top. After shaking, put the side on the bar, the metal down, remove the glass top and fit the strainer into of the metal half. Step 5 is strain in the pre-prepared glass. When pouring into the service glass, make sure any foam gets out of the shaker onto the cocktail. This is achieved by a quick foam pour with a little shake down at the end. The last step is add garnish and serve. In this cocktail, our garnish is a lime wheel. After garnish, your cocktail is ready to serve. At the end of this video, here are some tips for you. The first tip is avoid making a splash. Ideally, combine the ingredients in the smaller tin and then add ice to the larger tin. If you use one quick motion, you can bring the tin filled with ice down on the smaller tin without losing any ice or spilling your drink. However, to play safe, pour the contents of the small tin into the large ice field team before sailing. The second tip is shaking for longer will not make it colder or more dilute. The effect of a large amount of ice being forced back and forth through a relatively small amount of liquid in a cocktail shaker is such an effective way of cooling that after around 12 seconds thermal equilibrium is reached between minus 5 degrees Celsius and minus 8 degrees Celsius. Continuing to shake after this point is reached will make very little difference to the temperature or dilution of the drink. The last tip is use stainless steel rather than glass. Stainless steel heats up and cools down quickly, and in doing so uses minimal energy so having little effect on the temperature of the finished cocktail. In contrast, heavy Boston glasses have more thermal mass, so absorb more energy from the drink being shaken. So steer clear of glass and use all stainless steel tin and tin shakers.